Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some more Pioneer Slivers. It is late at night, and I am running out of steam, but guess what? We won the die roll. So we are going to definitely keep this hand. We got a couple shocky shockies, but it's a good hand to keep. It's fine. It's fine. We got our Gale Rider. We got our Diffusions. We got our Mana Swift. It's all good. We even got a Metallic. I'm feeling pretty good about it. We're up against uh, one bad Jedi. One bad Jedi. That's all it takes. That's all it takes is one bad Jedi. Come on, bad Jedi. There we go. All right, we're shocking. Bang. Down comes the Gale Rider. That's right, we're playing Slivers. Hope you're ready. We're going to be running the course very quickly. If I see black diffusion, if I see anything else like green or white, hmm, red. I'll play. Ooh, I don't know. We're gonna shock ourselves a lot here. I think I'm gonna set up with a metallic. See if we can get away with it for one turn, so we can have a stronger board. Uh, sliver, yes, 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 yes. And we will attack. I think I... Well, I, I want to see what they're playing first, but... Kind of feeling like Diffusion's our next go-ahead. Either that or we go Mana Swift and start dumping hand. That might even be better. Yeah, why wouldn't we do that, right? Mana Swift into Diffusion. Seems reasonable. Yeah, unless they kill something. Wish they might. Ooh, that's a lot of red. I don't like it. Eh. No, play creature. Legionnaire. Oh, are we playing uh, with... What's his name? The little... Re-get-all-your-stuff creature after it attacks at the end of turn. I forget the name. Man, I played with the card. I wanted to make a deck of it, but I'm having a complete mind blank right now. Um, gosh dang, I can't think of the card. Uh, but it's the one deck. You guys. You guys know. I'm sure. I'm sure you guys know. Alright, well, we're definitely going to put down... A diffusion now because um, we are taking a lot of damage which I don't like but uh, yeah I want to get diffusion down before they start killing stuff because they will start killing stuff relatively quickly give me that diffusion especially if they get down feather feather deck right what's the name of the card feather it's the feather deck Boros feather combo thing right that's what play, plays the District Legion there. I, I just, I always wanted to make the deck in Arena, but I can't grind Arena. I do not have the time to grind Arena to make decks. I just don't. That's why I don't play it right now is because there's decks I would like to play, but I don't have the time to grind, to get cards and stuff. I, you know, Magic Gathering Online, you can go, you can buy the cards you need, you can make the deck. Can't do that in Arena. You gotta, you gotta put forward the grind, and I, I just do not have the time to do it it's unfortunate i'd love to play more historic merfolk i'd love to uh get crazy with some stuff on there mill looked really fun i don't know where it stands now but mill was looking pretty sharp for for a second there a couple months ago um caldem or calda caldeheim caldeheim however you want to say it that's coming out it's gonna be some sweet cards in there uh, but yeah, uh, may, I, I feel like if uh, Arena ev ever does come to mobile this year, uh, which would be dope, I think they said the first quarter they're going to try to have it out on mobile, but I, d I have my doubts on that. But if it comes to mobile, maybe then I'll be able to put up a couple more games here and there, and if I can have the same account and stuff and have it transfer over, then I can start playing it again. I don't know. But uh, for now, MTGO all day. Just what I can do. Um, if they attack, do I block? Put a plus one, plus one counter on it when it. So we could be getting hit for quite a bit of damage, I feel like. Ugh, I don't like doing this. I feel like we might. We, we should be blocking here, potentially. It might hurt us a lot. We might be taking 6 plus. Yeah. Alright, so that's 5. And do they have another one? If they've got a handful of this, it's not going to be pretty. Alright, we get hit for 5. 
We're gonna have to jump block. Savior. Oh, indestructible, huh? Okay, set up the defense. Maybe this isn't the feather deck. We're at, we haven't seen it yet. I mean, it could still. It could. All right, sliver. Yes. Now, questions, right? Questions. Extra defense with the diffusion is pretty nice. I definitely want to get down a leeching. That's for dang sure. But do I start with another diffusion? Because we can hit them for a good chunk and uh, even this game out a little bit. I'm just in a weird position where I've got to tap a creature. Alright, you know what? We're gonna not do this first. Doesn't really matter, does it? No. Okay. Another diffusion. Just extra defense. Let's get it in. And we're gonna swing with our most powerful creatures and put down our leeching. That's the game plan. We'll have two blockers and a lot of diffusion defense. So that should help us out quite a bit because they can't compete with the diffusion right now. So we'll swing, we'll hit him for three, and then we'll hit him for potentially six. Well, definitely six, I should say, because they can't block the all flying, which I'm forgetting. Um, next turn, what to expect? Three cards in hand? I'm not extremely worried unless they can give this flying which I am sure there's ways we will just chump block with the diffusion because we're gonna win off this leeching unless they can deal with it get a little scry going from the temple of triumph and let's see what they do I can give indestructible to one of the creatures. Does not like it really matters. They're gonna eat whatever we put in front of it. <clears throat> what can we hit for next turn? Quite a bit. We got them on the ropes. At least six with the leeching. Getting black blade. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see. 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 Prevent all damage. Vigilance. Lifelink. Indestructible. Exile, can't do the exile. So they can give lifelinker indestructible. Hmm. Okay, so they can gain some life back, potentially, but uh, let's see, they gotta go for the lifelink here, right? I think we still have them beat, though. Six, and then another whopping amount of damage. In they go, uh, but... They don't really have any place here, do they? They're tapped out. What can they do? Hit me for four. We go to five. We swing. Okay. I mean, I could just chump block, I guess. <laughs> I guess on the, the dog, I guess there's no reason to just take that, but whatever. I think they're just swinging out because they know they're dead. They have no follow-up here. Overgrown Tomb. Uh, should we just do it for Flare? I'm gonna do it for Flare. Let me make sure... Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Let me make sure we got it, though. Alright. <laughs> we got 3, 5, 7, 9, and then 11. Yeah, okay. We're gonna, we're gonna do it for Flare. And take the extra bit of damage for no reason. Just for funsies. And just play our Banner Swift out. Because I'm a bad guy. I'm that one bad Jedi. Let's go. Alright. Swinging in. All at the face. We're avoiding Gideon. We don't care. Bye bye. We'll go to game two, which seems like they had a slow start for this this lovely deck of theirs. No feather. We did see that they had this over here: integrity intervention plus two. That's what they used on that side. What's the other side? Deals three damage to any target. You gain three. Okay. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still thinking this is Feather. Sure looks like it. Um, Fatal looks good. Lifelink looks good. Shaper looks good. Icon, not as much. Bone Silver, yes. Leeching, yes. Sentinel. Can I cut Sentinel? Can I get away with cutting Sentinel? Uh, cut a Metallic. 
we cut the Silver Hive Lord? I don't want to. This is going to be a faster game. Is it possible for us to get there? Siphon, siphon, siphon. Do we want all three siphons? I could just X and A one of the siphons, just keep two. So we got a couple Fatal Push, we got a couple Shapers, because they will be targeting our stuff if they feel threatened. Uh, Diffusion seemed really good in this matchup, especially if they have low mana. Uh, mana Swift, Mana Swift, yes, we want to power things out, keep the Silver Hive Lord, keep two Siphons, cut the Sentinel, I don't know, sure, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's do it, Boros Feather, gotta see the Feather, I gotta confirm my suspicions here, although I don't think it's gonna be like some of my other games from last week where I'm guessing for the entirety of the game, and then am proven wrong, <laughs> Oh, we're playing Acid Trip, right? <laughs> Not quite. Looks very similar. Could be a similar situation. All right. Well, I'm not going to toss the sand back. It is perfectly fine. We've got the Gale Rider turn one, Diffusion turn two, and then uh, Icon turn three, drawn to another land, hopefully get this Bone Scythe down. Keep. And we'll go ahead and play Sliver Hive. No paying the life. See, we we triple cracked our life last time, so that just shows them how scared they are. Can't play that fatal push right now. Kind of unfortunate. Maybe someday we'll be able to play that fatal push, but it's not right now. All we can hope is that they leave a Gale Rider alone for one turn, and we can drop it to fusion. That's what I want. That's what I need. That's what I desire. That's what I crave. Let's go. Creature. 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 Selfless. All right. I don't mind that. I want to... Uh, I want to play all of it. I want to play all of it. All right. Uh, we are going to say Slivy. We're going to go ahead and get this down. See if they kill off our Gale Rider. Nope, they don't. Okay, good. So we're clear to swing. Start getting the damage in. If they're starting with a Selfless Savior, kind of leads me to believe they have no creatures and maybe just a Gideon in their hand. Bunch of pumps, a Selfless, a Gideon, a couple land. That's my prediction. Uh, feather is three mana though, so they could drop a Feather here. Maybe they have the Feather. Still can't, I still can't think of the full name of the card. All I know is it's Feather. Something Feather. <clears throat> Let's see. Tap out for Feather. There it is. Feather the Redeemed. I was right. Feather the Redeemed. Okay. Feather the Redeemed. Which is a good blocker for our flying. So on begins the combo here for us. Um, mm -mm, give me something that I can use a Fatal Push. Mm, not quite what I want. Not quite what I want. All right. But we can start digging for some extra pieces of uh, help here if we can't play anything else. Which is nice. That is an icon that will buff my team. Thank you very much. And we will pass. Because I'm not attacking into their feather. But they are going to start attacking into us and it's not going to be fun. It's not going to be fun. They have a good combo right now with it. Self or Savior as a protection. 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 And they can start lighting off some, uh, some instants. Sorceries. Let's see. <clears throat> they can... Just try to race. Might be their best bet if they've got a, lot, a bunch of like lightning bolts or something. It has to target though, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's got target. Okay, so they can't just lightning bolt. They don't even play anything. Which I'm fine with. Hushbringer. Hushbringer. 
That won't affect us. That shouldn't affect us, right? Creatures entering or dying don't call us abilities trigger. We don't have really any of those that I can think of. It's not what I want to be seeing here. Quite unfortunate. All right, well, we can't, can't play anything. Even if we did our icon. So I'm just going to swing. Hit him for four. We might take a bit of damage next turn. It's very possible. But you know what? We went to three last game. Or I should say five. I, you know, purposefully went to three. They're going to chump block. Get that one lifelink. Oh, they're going to buff. Why, didn't, why am I walking into traps like this? That's why I usually try not to play late at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Because then I just do stupid crap like this and get my creatures eaten for no reason. So that's freaking awesome. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to see here. Just gave them a free eat. And a bunch of life. Okay. Bad move. Bad move, Josh. I think for some reason I thought they were tapped out. But they were not. Not one mana. That's all it takes. That's all they run. It's like one mana spells. One mana instants. Probably some twos, but... Mostly ones. Oh! What are you going to swing with everything? All right, here we go. Time for the damage. I need a way to play Fatal Push or something here. I need another land, and I don't want to skip through this end of turn. Let me just make sure I don't do that. We're digging. And we hit nothing. Lost two collected companies. Sweet. All right, well, we got... We got an island. Which is fun. Do they have some type of untap spell? That's what I'm curious about. All right, we'll play our... Double Striker. I'll give us a better defense. Uh, but we lost our diffusion, which just just sucks. Just sucks. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pass. Uh, ooh, or are we? Swing for four. Hold up one bone scythe. What do you got in your hand? Are they just gonna kill something here? All right, we'll get in. We'll get in for four. They may just kill it, though. They could have some more tricks up their sleeve. Uh, we just have bad mana with uh, with good stuff in our hand. These shapers would be decent. Although, they're, you know what? The more I think about it, maybe shapers don't need to be in here. Because they're not targeting us a lot of the time. They're going to be targeting their own stuff more of the time. So maybe Shapers isn't as strong as I'm giving it credit for in this. Do they have an untap thing? Yeah, I'm just going to die here, aren't I? Quick game two. All right. Ah, fatal mistake was just giving them that diffusion for no reason. That's all it was. Well, maybe we can pull into a green mana source and pop off a collect a company, but what are you going to do? Got to remember that too. That costs four mana, three damage, three life. Go to seven. They're just waiting. They know they've got me on the back ropes here. I 
I gotta make the art feather, right? I would love to make a Hushbringer because it's such a beautiful card. But I gotta make a feather. If I can find the artwork. Pretty sure I can for this card. Cool artwork on this one too, by the way, but Hushbringer is just stellar artwork. By Dahami. Bastion L. Dahami. Leeching, you're not the best right now, man. You're not the best. You're really not. I feel like anything I play here is just going to die. Should tap my planes, but that's all right. There's not much we can do. Go ahead. Pass them back to you. I don't think I can pull this one out of my butt, though, here. It's going to be very difficult. End of turn, kill a creature? No? Okay. Okay, okay. Hmm. Taking the two life because they can afford it. How much does Gideon cost again? Does he cost five or four? I thought he costed four. Maybe I'm wrong. They would have casted them though. Just getting in with Feather. So here's the problem. You can hit me for three, potentially five. I think I just have to block. I'm just gonna chump block. I feel like four cards in their hand with this much mana up means a potential kill on board. Gains protection, sure. God willing. Not like I can really do anything here. Maybe he doesn't know that, but I can't really do anything. And they're just passing. What, do you, what else do you have in your hand? That's what I want to know. We literally can't play anything. I'm digging right now. I don't know what I'm digging for. Well, I'll definitely take that. Play this out. And pass. We're in a rough spot. We're in a rough spot. So many cards. They have God willing. Part of me is just like, I'll take it. But I feel like they're, they're just setting up for a kill. And they're just playing God's willing. Oops, sorry. Playing God's willing because they can. Hitting the mic here. Reckless Rage. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Looks like they might try to go for some nastiness here. One creature down. Getting in with both for four damage. I am pretty much dead here. Block this, but uh, they could probably pump it and play God's Willing, do whatever they freaking want. Uh, and if that's the case, probably just concede, go to game three. This is a losing battle. Yep. Nothing else, huh? Interesting. 
still problematic. They're getting Reckless Rage back. Which can just kill off our Lord next turn. Beautiful. You're not extremely helpful right now either. No. We're at four, we can make the Muti into something. It's gonna do reckless rage now. Yeah, I don't I don't know why I'm hanging in here. It's fine. It's fine. Let me see my card draw. Yeah, they're showing me the hand. I mean, I'll I'll take it. They had another feather, which I was gonna speculate on. I was like, if we can find a way to kill feather, I feel like they're holding on to another one potentially. So they had a fry, which fry is five damage to target creature or planeswalker. That's white or blue. It can't be countered. Let's sideboard. Take that into note. And well, let's see. Um, shapers. I mean, well, they were targeting us, weren't they? I don't know. I don't know whether to leave those in or not. What's the other thing I could do here? Bring in, uh, bring in another striking, maybe? Or vigilance? Maybe I bring in my vigilance, take out one shapers? Sure. I don't know. I don't know how good the, the, the shapers is. It feels like half and half. Just depends on their hand. Yeah, we'll play first, and we will keep... Yeah, we're gonna keep... Sliver Hive for days. Can't say no to double diffusion. It's not bad. Holy frick, I almost passed my turn. Go ahead. Caught that. Just in the nick of time. Got your doggo. Doggo's out. Good old doggo. All right. Breeding pool. That's fine. I'm not going to use it yet. Let's get the fusion out. Next turn, we can go Mana Swift into another Diffusion. We're just going to set up board. We're just going to set up a huge defense board and then start worrying about getting in uh, with some damage. We don't have a ton of power going on, even for a siphon. So. Keep away from the red. Hopefully they're mana screwed. Ah, they got the red. It's fine. You can get, get in there for one with selfless. Maybe more. If you really want to go ham. Oh, they are. Look at that. That's funny. Yeah, it's a free attack. I'm not trading my diffusion for a selfless savior. Probably have a pump anyways. <clears throat> Get on with it. What you got? Anything? Nope. We're just going to do it. And then I end of turn play. not they got that feather another selfless that's going to be annoying yeah let's get muty out right is that going to affect us any no okay yeah, yeah, yeah. muty out and we need to draw all gas from here basically Good double diffusion though. We just need to draw some power. If they have feather. It's gonna be tough. 
It's going to be tough if they have Feather with double self selfless saviors. Start going ham with that thing. Get in there. Get in there. We're still not blocking. Get in for your free damage while you can. Will we see the feather? There it is. All right. Good luck to us. Gas, gas, gas. Come on. Predatory. All right. Beautiful. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm just going to play this. Because I want to empty out my hand a little bit. Can't be blocking flyers yet. Black. Out comes our lifelink. So we can start regaining some life here eventually, which is nice, but we are not attacking into the feather right now. We are just going to pass. We do need to start attacking in as soon as possible though, while we have these diffusions, because I feel like once they get enough mana to beat our diffusions, they are gonna start trying to take them out. So if we have a way to do it, we're gonna do it. We just got to be careful. Just like if they're holding up any mana, it's like kind of risky. No flyers right now, though. It'd be nice to try to, like, quad block the feather. Like, insane block it. Just kill the dang thing. A lot of thought going on right now, bad Jedi. What's up? We're on a good, solid 32-minute game. Let's go. Defiant Strike. Looking for the card draw. Fine. Fair enough. Great card. I love how, like, barely anything's changed in the Pioneer version of this deck from the standard. Like, all the cards you need for this perfection of a deck was just from, like, three sets. It was insane. Like, there was barely anything else you needed to change. He's running out of time. Holy crap, he's at five minutes. Oh, I just saw that. Wow. I mean, your fault if you time out, man. We're cruising. We're having a good game. I I'm not going to feel sympathy for you on this one. Uh, nope, we're not going to pay, but we are going to throw this down. That's pretty lovely. Look at that. Look at that. We got a gale. And we're going to... Hmm. We're going to do stuff here, huh? Uh, we're going to pass. You're going to eat something. It's just not enough. I need to... I need to deal with this feather or get like a double strike down or something. They're stuck on the three mana, which is a problem for them because they can't do anything to our board. So they're, they're gaining these cards, but they can't do anything. They need more land. A lot more. Yep. Looks like they're kind of looking for that land too. Might be what they're trying to do. They are running out of time. I'm feeling good about our board right now. Like, that's for sure. We've got a Mutie. 
we can, how much does it cost to do this again? Because I always forget, it costs five. We're one away from activating our slivers, getting in with our slivers. We can just start making those if we draw another land, which is pretty nice. We don't get to do that too often. It's just, it's diffusion versus the feather. That's what's happening in this deck right now. Man, they got a discard. They're kind of stuck. It's crazy. <laughs> All right, another Muta Vault. Um, I mean, <laughs> listen, I'm not trying to be a dick or nothing here, but like, I'm not attacking into your buff so you can just eat one of my creatures and start going off. If you can't make a play, I'm going to wait. I'm sorry you're running out of time, but this is just a smart move. If, if I start letting you buff your guy and eat my diffusions for free, it's just not smart. Because once they start eating these, they can just start killing everything else. So we're just going to start making slivers. We're just going to keep uh, expanding our board slowly until we have enough to just deal out the goodness. I got a little creature. That's fine. They're going to time out, though, before this game gets anywhere. I just, I can feel it. They're in a rough spot. All right, time to create some boys. Let's get a sliver out. Watch him, like, concede to just me, me making slivers. Ooh, ooh, collected. I'm just going to do that now and see what we get. Uh, let's leave up a muty. See if we can find like a leeching or let's see, striking. Striking's not bad. Of course, our sliver high lord goes away again. <laughs> so, uh, could grab the metallic mimic even, but striking's pretty good. Any order of these boys. Oh, let's see here. So now we can hit four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight's a lot. They block four. They take six. At the no, they're gonna take a little bit more, so they take eight. Yeah, yeah. I think this is the point where we swing in now. Because uh, we can put enough pressure on them now to really just go ham. And we're going to gain a ton of life. So you can eat all these leeching triggers. You can block how you want. You can eat what you want. At this point, I don't care. Get through all these triggers. There we go. Always forget to do that. Always forget to yield. So let's say they block, 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 and they take two, four, six, eight. Oh man, it's rough. Oh yeah, they can't even block with the selfless slavers. They can just make these guys. I've completely, I think we just got them dead. I was, can, I was. Can, I was counting the selfish saviors as something that could block our flying slivers. Uh, so, so that's what I was like trying to think. But yeah, I think we just like got them here. Yeah, that's just it. That's just it. It's got to be right. We're very close to. You got to take out all our diffusions. Sure, 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 sure.
It's like either way they're gonna run out of time before they can kill us. <laughs> but I think they just like die here, yeah. They just die here. So good game. And we are coming up to another diffusion anyways, which is pretty funny. That's awesome. Alright, well good game, Feather. Ooh, it's nice to see ya. I missed ya. I missed ya. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That's a nice 40 minute game. So if you did, make sure to leave a like and support the channel by subscribing. We're trying to hit 1k. So if you haven't described subscribed yet, we play a lot of slivers, play some Call of Duty, we open booster cracking videos on Sunday, so stay tuned for all that goodness. Thank you for checking out the vid, and we will see you guys in the next one.